Delicious, meat nutritious, and the snack that packs a real protein punch, wonderful pistachios. Each one ounce serving has six grams of protein, giving you over 10% of your daily value and making wonderful pistachios one of the highest protein nuts out there. But perhaps more than that, I love all of the flavors they have. Their sea salt and vinegar ones are my favorite when I'm craving that flavor, but still want to keep it healthy. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Wonderful pistachios come in a variety of flavors like chili roasted, honey roasted, smoky barbecue, and jalapeno lime, to name a few. Perfect for enjoying with family or friends and taking them with you on the go. Whether you're a pistachio purist who loves cracking open every nut, or you prefer the convenience of no-shells pistachios, Wonderful Pistachios has got you covered. Grab Wonderful Pistachios and elevate your snacking game today. So fill up with a healthy snack when hunger strikes. Visit wonderfulpistachios.com to learn more. That's wonderfulpistachios.com. It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Living Daily, episode 3123, How Minimalism Builds Consistency for Personal Growth by Anthony Ungaro of breakthetwitch.com. And I'm your narrator, Justin Mollick, reading you articles every single day of the year, usually covering minimalism on Mondays. So with that, let's get right to it as we optimize your life. How Minimalism Builds Consistency for Personal Growth by Anthony Ungaro of BreakTheTwitch.com Six years ago, when I started learning about minimalism, I didn't know what to expect. Sure, I heard about how minimalism makes your life easier and less cluttered. However, I didn't truly understand how minimalism would impact me. The specifics, you know? The concrete ways of how getting rid of things, creating space, and minimalism as a whole could lead to living a more intentional, fulfilling life. But over the years of exploring and sharing what I've learned here, my experience has validated that minimalism is a fundamental building block for creating consistency and personal growth and building better habits. Minimalism is both an effective tool and one of the best places to start if you know something in your life needs to change. I get the disconnect though, It's a bit of a leap to believe that simply donating a few pieces of clothing translates to more space and your life magically getting better. The math doesn't quite add up. But it's the space that is slowly built over time, even the seemingly inconsequential things that have allowed me to be more consistent than ever. Consistency is where the magic happens. Small, steady improvements change the entire game. And minimalism creates space for consistency. That's where it all comes together. The importance of margin. Life is unpredictable and inconsistent. I mean, look at the year we've just been through. 2020 really put a lot of us through the ringer. When we sat down at the end of 2019 to dream up what the next year would look like, I don't think any of us would have painted this picture. And just in case any time travelers happen to be hearing this, buy stock in Zoom and Peloton at the end of March 2020. You'll thank me later. Even outside the wildly unexpected global pandemic, things happen. Unexpected delays, events, or tasks can result in not enough time, energy, or resources to do what you set out to do. So when you're running late, feeling overwhelmed, and you can't do that thing you've committed to doing, it's not because you're not good enough or need to work harder or faster. If you have too many things in a box and life suddenly hands you another thing to put in it, It's not because you're not a capable put stuff in a boxer. However hard you push, it's not going to fit in the box. You're not going to have space for an extra thing if the box is already full. That's just how it works. Minimalism is what helps you create the space to be consistent across different areas of your life. If your schedule is slammed full, the odds of you being able to consistently have time and energy to get to the gym to work out will be lowered. Minimalism and attention. The minimalism effect even goes beyond the calendar and physical space. Minimalism also impacts attention space. I'm talking about the energy bucket that's drained from us when we're super focused on creative, analytical, or detailed work. If we're not careful about protecting our attention space and what we spend that on, we can end up with less energy to spend on the things that are personally important to us. With decluttering clothing in particular, It's easy to see how it translates to less time choosing what to wear since you will have fewer options to choose from. Removing an item from your life means that you're not organizing or cleaning it. 
You're not even thinking about items that are no longer in your life. This also applies to attention space. The fewer things you do, the better you can do those things. But this is where it can get kind of tricky because sometimes our subconscious can over leverage our attention as a defensive measure. It's one of the ways we can self-sabotage and prevent ourselves from giving our full selves to the few most important things. There are many reasons why it may be scary to give our full selves to something. What if we do that and it's not good enough? What if it ends up not working out? That can be a scary proposition, and so it's sometimes easier to be incredibly busy and distracted with lots of things going on. The clutter helps to hide those underlying insecurities and feelings of not enoughness. If it were easy to simply commit to just doing one or two things over and over again until we got to mastery, then we'd all choose that path. But instead, many of us feel societal pressure to do more and more. Many of us deal with limiting beliefs that get in our way. Minimalism helps reduce the noise, increase our awareness, and save more energy for what's truly important. Minimalism as a practice. The final way in how minimalism builds consistency is that it's meant to be a consistent practice that ebbs and flows as your life changes. Minimalism isn't meant to be an end goal. There's no pressure to reach an end goal where you're finally a minimalist and now you're done. Your life is going to be changed, your needs and interests are going to shift. The decluttering process is a series of decisions and choices on what you want in your life and what you don't. When you first start decluttering, the items you declutter may be smaller and it may go more slowly. As you go on though, you're actually building your decision muscle and confidence. It'll get easier and easier to decide. Minimalism as a practice is about paying attention in actively deciding what to declutter and what to keep as your life evolves. At the core of it, I don't see why anyone wouldn't want to be a minimalist. You'll have more time and energy to go after what's important to you. You'll have greater awareness and confidence to face the small discomforts and the unpredictability of life. This work is ultimately what Break the Twitch is about, identifying and stepping into small discomforts slowly building the muscle that allows us to do it better and better over time. That's personal growth, and it's what I've been doing steadily since embarking on this journey six years ago. You just listened to the post titled How Minimalism Builds Consistency for Personal Growth by Anthony Angaro of breakthetwitch.com, and I'll be right back with my commentary. Thank you to Anthony. When sharing this article, I was reminded how when my space around me is cluttered, my brain feels cluttered. There's a huge correlation there, for me at least. I don't know if you experienced that too or if you've thought about it. I recently decluttered a bit and I only have stuff out that I actually use, so things are feeling a lot less cluttered and I can focus more these days, especially on work, so that's nice. Just hoping to keep it up because I feel like it's in a good spot. It is a bit empty, but I'd rather have that than the overwhelm of clutter and then not knowing where to begin. So don't forget the benefits. See what you can do to minimize just a little bit today. As he mentioned, it's an ongoing thing. It never ends, so keeping it top of mind is important. Thank you for being here with me and listening every day, and I'll be back tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.